Hello, hello. As you can see, I have a Pokeball on my sleeve. It's a Pikachu jersey. You can get it from Spencer's. I'm not sponsored. I wish I was because then I would have all the Pikachu merchandise in this room. So today I wanted to make a video recommending all of the YouTubers and that I think everybody should watch. I have quite a list. You may know some of these YouTubers. You probably will know some of these YouTubers. Some of them you're probably not gonna have ever heard of them before, but that's why you're here. I'm going to tell you about these people. Some of them have millions of subscribers. Some of them are in the middle around the same subscriber range as me and some of them don't have very many subscribers at all. Now the one thing that these channels do have in common is that they are all captioned. Because what kind of closed captioning advocate would I be if I gave you channels that did not caption? So these are really in no particular order. I was just writing them down as I was thinking about them. So uh, let's go. If you are into super cute kawaii, I just said cute twice in different languages. If you are into the really cute stuff, into cosplay, into uh, anime, and you know, just geeky nerd culture things, you might like Alexa Paletti. She is a model, she is a cosplayer, she does makeup tutorials, and she just posts a lot of videos on very cute stuff. If you've ever wanted to get into wigs, she is a model for I believe two wig companies, so just check her out, she's really really good. I also might be a little bit biased because we live close to each other. And of course my dear friend Francesca Ramsey or Cheska Lee, she talks a lot about intersectional feminism, racism. She has her own show on MTV Decoded or it's called MTV Decoded. She's now on The Nightly Show which I have been watching every time she's on there. I've been a fan of that woman for years now. And over the past couple years we started building a friendship and last year we just happened to run into each other when we were at VidCon and I was on my way to my hotel room and we never took a picture together. Please Francesca be at VidCon this year because I will be and I we need a picture together. We need one. Hannah Witten. Honestly what can I say about Hannah Witten? We have met at Buffer Festival last year and it was in our pajamas in the creator suite which was great. Our friendship has been built on always running into each other in our pajamas and going Wah! That's basically how we introduce ourselves which is weird but hilarious. If you're really into feminism and sexuality I definitely recommend her. Also her Drunk Advice series is the most hilarious I've seen on YouTube. I binge watched them all last night and nothing has made me laugh harder than the one with Jack Howard in it. I cried. If you're looking for other channels about racism and even about being transgender, you can check out Cat Black. I've been a fan of Cat since she was on Dollhouse. I remember Dollhouse happened, I checked out some videos of her on there and then I kind of lost her along the way. I couldn't figure out what her channel was, so I don't know. And then about a year or two ago, I saw her again and I've been watching every single video that she comes out with. And she's going to VidCon. So we are gonna we're, we are gonna be face to face and say hi. I will find you Kat, if you'll let me. If you're looking for an educational channel that talks about all kinds of subjects, definitely go check out Matthew Santoro. We also met at Buffer Festival last year and the reason why he started captioning his videos is yeah. We were on the science and education. <laughs> Hi, cat. We were on the science and education uh, screening together, and I made my own little video about closed captioning. And he said, I had no idea this was a thing, and we're gonna start doing it. So he does a lot of top seven myths. I think it's seven, maybe there's not an actual number, and five something number amazing facts to blow your mind. His video quality is freaking amazing and he's not boring. He's really fun to watch so definitely check him out. And then of course Lily aka Superwoman and she does it so much better than me. Yeah. She finally has started captioning her videos which is great because it's been a long time coming. I remember she mentioned it a year ago but it took a while but it's happening now and I am so, so happy. And she's going to VidCon again this year, so I'm hoping we can sit down for a little bit and just have a nice little conversation. But this woman is one of my role models. Lily and Francesca, these two are like my role models and who I want to be when I grow up in five, six years. <laughs> Not that much older. But Lily's videos are hilarious. Some of them are very educational 
and it's just a great channel to cheer you up when you're sad. And then we have my friend Paul Roth who uploads a ton, which is great. He often talks about social issues, so anything that's current, he's usually talking about it. He's very chill in his videos, so if you're looking for something that doesn't have a whole lot of editing and not a lot of jump cuts, he's a nice mellow person to watch. And then we have Life and Death aka Mary. She is another deaf YouTuber so I gotta mention her. She lives in Scotland I believe so whenever she talks about sign language it's gonna be British sign language. She also talks a lot about deaf issues and a couple of you know just random videos. ASL Stu is another one of those deaf related channels. The stars of this YouTube channel is a deaf hearing couple so you get the perspective of two different people. You do get some deaf issues videos and regular videos. What do you want? Huh? You gotta be louder. I can't hear you. I felt it. Okay, good I like these two and I think they're a fun couple to watch. And then we have Annie Laney who is a YouTuber that I just recently started watching. She is another YouTuber that talks about disability and she is in a wheelchair so that's a completely different kind of disability than what I have and what Mary has. I found Annie through Tumblr and her How to Spot a Fake Disability video which is a really great video so definitely check her out if you want to learn about other disabilities. And then we have Alexandria Taylor who hasn't uploaded in about a month or so but she is also a channel that talks about mental health disabilities and she has created her own panel at VidCon called Disabilities on YouTube which is the one that I will be on so that's exciting. I got to meet her last year at VidCon when she came to my closed captioning workshop and we've been friends ever since so definitely check her out. And then we have James Rath who you might recognize because we just recently did a video together for Pokemon 20 and he is a blind YouTuber and filmmaker so you get another disability to learn about. But he also makes really cool films so I definitely recommend giving his YouTube and his little films a look. He will also be on the disabilities on YouTube channel. And then we have the ins and outs with Erica Lene. I hope I said that last name right. Got to meet her at VidCon as well but I had actually watched her videos before and she talks a lot about sex toys and Sorry. So that's probably not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but if you're really into your sexuality and you want to learn about sex toys and sex, I highly recommend her. And she has purple hair. She's fucking cool to look at. And then we have Jesse Springer who also talks a lot about feminism and she even talks about movies and I could look at that girl all day. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just blurt that out, Ricky. Just blurt that out. But I've always enjoyed a video that she comes out with. She's very mellow and very easy to listen to and I like her. Now I don't watch beauty channels anymore except for one and that is Calais Lagunero. She's really the only makeup channel that I watch now. I always love her video editing skills. I wish she would teach me how to do that. All the things that she does. She looks amazing and her makeup is always amazing so if you are looking for a new makeup guru to watch go to her trust me and then last but not least and because i know i can't let this video go on forever we have rincey reads who is a booktuber i'm trying to get back into reading again and i always say that but now i'm doing it again and Rincey and Hannah are the reasons why I'm trying to get back into this. Rincey always has a lot of book suggestions. She's always reviewing books and I trust her judgment. So if you want another booktuber, so if you want someone who loves books as much as you do and who captions their videos in case you're deaf, go to Rincey. And those are all the YouTubers that I have on my list right now. I could probably go on and on and on but then I'll never end. Or it could because not everybody captions still but we're, we're working on that. We're working on that. So uh, let me know if you've heard of any of these YouTubers. If you watch them at all. If you have not heard of them and then you go over to the channel let them know that I sent you okay. And I will see you later. Bye.